We have gathered here today to witness and bless the joining together of Alan and Rebecca in holy marriage. Rebecca, do you take Alan to be your husband? Do you vow to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, always be faithful to him? Alan, do you take Rebecca to be your wife? Do you vow to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, always be faithful to her? I do. God created us, male and female, for each other and established the covenant of marriage. Jesus performed his first miracle at a wedding and, in his sacrificial love, gave us the example for the love between husband and wife. A marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments and it's a declaration of love. The Bible tells us that love is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast, it's not proud, it's not rude or self-seeking or easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Now I'd like you to hold hands. <laughs> and repeat your vows to one another, starting with you, Alan. Repeat after me. I, Alan. I, Alan. Take you, Rebecca. Take you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Rebecca. I, Rebecca. Take you, Alan. Take you, Alan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. Let us pray. Bless the Lord the giving of these rings that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Amen. 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 Take Rebecca's ring and place it gently on her finger and repeat after me. Rebecca, I give you this ring. Rebecca, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. And take Alan's ring and place it on his finger and repeat after me. Alan, I give you this ring. Alan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. All that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. <laughs> it's now time to uh, uh, light the unity candle together, so please step onto the stage behind the table. Together, remove the lighted candles from their holders and light the center candle, indicating the two shall become one. Then carefully return the lighted candles to their holders and we are reminded of your continued unique individuality as God's yes. soul. So, very carefully return to where you were. Let us pray. So God bless Alan and Rebecca and fill their hearts with kindness and understanding and help them to be true and loving toward one another as they live their lives together. And may your Holy Spirit be always present in their home. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, you have given yourselves to each other by repeating solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. I announce to all in the name of God that you are husband and wife together. You may kiss your bride. Please, you will be escort your bride down the aisle. Thank <laughs> you.